The next speaker is someone who's represented this country as foreign ambassador, but I would say that his most outstanding work on behalf of ordinary people in this country has been his relentless campaigning to free Julian Assange. His writing and reporting on the court hearings have been second to none. Please give a warm welcome to someone who hasn't stinted, has not stinted in his support for Julian Assange. Welcome Craig Murray. campaigning for his freedom, campaigning for freedom of speech, campaigning for the right of the public to know for 12 years. And today is the day we finally secure the release of Julian Assange. In the last judgment, the court asked for two assurances from the United States government. They asked for an assurance on the death penalty, which they received. They asked for an assurance that he would not be debarred from seeking the, the protection of the First Amendment on the grounds of his nationality. Now, the court did not ask for an assurance that the First Amendment argument would prevail over the so-called national security argument. Although when your national security apparently relies on concealing war crimes, you have to ask what national security really means at all. But they did not ask for an assurance that the First Amendment argument would prevail over all other arguments. They did ask specifically for an assurance that the First Amendment would not be debarred on the grounds of nationality. And that assurance has not been given. What they have said is, he can seek to argue the First Amendment protection. Now when the court has asked specifically for an assurance, and when the court has blatantly not been given that assurance. If the court still allows the extradition to go ahead, that is an end to any pretense of the rule of law in this country. That is an end to any claim of intellectual integrity on the part of the legal system. That would be an end to the self-respect of these grand Victorian buildings, this tremendous mockery of power where the authority of the state is stamped upon the people. We will see it all for what it is, a callous abuse of power and a charade of justice. Let me tell you this, I do not think we will see that today, I think today we will win, because I think for the court to grant extradition when the assurance they have insisted upon has not been given would be such a mockery, would be such a disgrace, would be such a humiliation. It is a step too far, even for this institution. I think today is a stay. We see Julian, see at last. Thank you. Yeah. 